Hello and welcome back everyone to Space Simulation Toolkit. So today we're going to be building a beautiful, beautiful Titanic. And we're going to get there from this lump of soil. So first off, we're going to delete the lump of soil and use the new draw pinned mode on here on this draw menu to draw a pinned stone. Pinned means it cannot move, it's static, which is super useful for our needs because we are going to be building a wall, actually two walls, technically speaking, to keep the water in. And the ocean will be paying for it. Whoosh. There's just something about watching millions of particles just collide with each other and fly through the air that's just super satisfying. It really is just one of the, the coolest things to come with latest graphics card technology. CUDA and just the ability to simulate on this scale is just, mm, mm. go science. Very different. Wow, this is not really shaped like the Titanic. It's shaped kind of like a pirate ship. Um, give me a moment. I think I, I messed this up a little bit. Now it's kind of like an aircraft carrier. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. We all know that the Titanic was really an aircraft carrier the whole time. I know. Shocking to a few, but most of us on this channel knew. Alright, give it some little smokestacks. We are not going for historical accuracy, I hope you can tell at this point. Alright, give it a little propeller. Technically, at some point, the propeller will probably actually work in this game. With the rate at which new features are being added, I wouldn't be shocked. Then we're going to add these little ropes rigging to keep these from falling over and off of the ship. This should probably not have extra slack in the line. Uh, I'm going to very carefully do this so that it doesn't rip directly off of the ship. There we go. Okay, I think that'll be good. Now, this is the important part. We can shift things. The not the powder toy. Space Simulation Toolkit is now 2.5D, which means I can go into action, shift, and actually push things back a dimension. So I can make rooms, which is why I can build ships in this game now. Look, I'm pushing this back and creating a, a hole inside of it. There's still metal in the back, so the water won't leak in, but I'm, I'm making a, a cavity inside where I can actually put other material. Super useful being able to create this 2.5D uh, representation so that we can make rooms inside of this ship which can fill with water, which means technically it should be able to sink. Sorry, sinking simulator, you might have some competition on your hands. Well, depending on how this goes, I'm uh. I'm, I am a little bit worried that this won't go as well as I'm hoping, but we'll see how it works. As you can see, look! We've got our Titanic! It's falling, it's about to go into the water. Let's see what happens. All right, it's impacted the water and it's falling very quickly. Hopefully this doesn't break. It's getting stretched a lot. Oh no, the propeller broke, oh God! Oh no! Oh, that was not good. That was not good, it's tearing open and the bottom is, look, you can actually see, you can see the tent. It's not super strong, it's a little bit challenging to see, but you can actually tell the kind of the outline of the water here. He needs to make it a little bit stronger so you can see it a little bit more clearly. But you can actually see that water is filling these chambers. I can actually see it filling up. Can you see how it kind of gets a little tinted blue? That's because there's water inside of it. It looks like the impact actually forced water into a lot of these chambers, even the ones that didn't have a technical hole in it. So clearly this is not a great way to drop it into the ocean. We need to do something a lot more gentle in order to do this successfully because we already killed the Titanic. Really shocking. And hopefully we just carefully move this down like this. It'll be going slowly enough that it will, uh, or going slow enough that it won't get super damaged. Okay, so it's hitting the water. It's kind of cushioning that fall, but it's falling straight through the water really, which is a problem. Definitely less dramatic of a tear there. Although, yeah, still still quite a bit of damage. And part of the problem is that the boat 
is so heavy and the scheme doesn't oh it's tearing in half again <laughs> no oh that's rough that's rough that's very rough um most there's, there's no real buoyancy so we have to kind of create that buoyancy and there's two ways we could do that we can make water so incredibly uh dense and massive that it pushes up because the water is trying to take up that space that's the first way i'm going to try to do it because i think it would be the more realistic way the second way is we can fill the ship with air um and that air will have a slight negative gravity so that it kind of lifts the ship the problem with that is that the air will make it challenging for the ship to actually uh fill up and i guess i can do both okay no that's that's fine and now i go to metal reduce them what <laughs> what the heck okay i i guess that won't work i don't know why it's exploding when i change the mass maybe sea distance is directly uh related to mass now so it breaks it okay uh what i can do is i can reduce the gravity it feels without changing the mass yeah i can reduce the gravity there we go I'll reduce the gravity by 75% and uh, I will try to keep it from going crazy when moving as well. I'll try to calm it down a little bit. Okay, we're gonna just very gently drop this into the water. As you can see, I am really taking my time with this. Actually, nothing is broken yet on the ship. So this may, this may be good. Not even the propeller is broken. By turning the mass down and very slowly lowering it into the water, we may have a successful Titanic here. My only concern is when it hits the water, the, uh, the force of it, even if it's moving very slowly, there's still a bit, maybe quite a bit of force that builds up. But I think every time I click on it, I think it zeroes out the velocity. So with zero velocity, that should be zero energy. And that should mean that it should just really carefully just kind of nestle into the water. I don't know what the mass of water is by default. I think it's like 0 0.3. So I don't know what's going to happen here. It may push the water out of the way and just sink in. It may balance. It looks to me like it's sinking in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now, I'm gonna save here because this is really close to where we wanna be. It's in the water and it's not exploded. Oh, the front of the ship's actually rising. Wait, do we have, do we? Oh, it's going into the air. This is not good. Um, so, the balance is very important here. So I'm going to decrease the power of the air and I'm gonna put more air in the back of the ship because if there's more in the front, it's gonna it's gonna tilt. It's gonna be very dramatic, okay? And we don't want that. Almost as dramatic as your average YouTuber on Twitter. Okay, here we go. Come on, a little bit more air in the back. Oh my God. It's really, it's really going up. I don't want it to float into the air. This is supposed to be a water ship, not an airship. Okay, wait, wait. Oh, it's going into the air. It is totally floating away. It's 100, no, wait. Maybe it's fallen. Maybe it's falling a little bit. Oh, I may have balanced it perfectly. I may have balanced it perfectly. Let's go. Let's go! I think the back is a little bit too too much now. I think I overdid it, but we'll see. The front's the front's tipping over. Uh-oh. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do now. We've got it pretty much floating, and the whole point of this was to see it sink anyways. So I'm gonna save it here. And now we're gonna see what happens when it sinks. Because that's interesting. I want I want to see it sink. 
And yeah, I could try to float it perfectly, but I'll spend like an hour and like, I want to see it sink anyway. So let's see what happens. I mean, the back of the ship has a lot of air that's pulling upwards now. So it's going to do this little flip. And what I'm curious about is if it's going to tear. Is it going to tear? Is it going to, is it going to flip? Is the ship going to flip? This ship may actually flip. Where did my music go? Excuse me? There we go. New song. All right. The ship up here. No! <laughs> oh, this is what I got for clicking off for two seconds. No! It's okay. I saved again. See, guys, whenever you do a big thing, save. It's always, it's always worth updating. Updating? Was, was there an update? Well, that was weird. That was very interesting. Okay, where is my Titanic V4? Let's watch it sink! All right. So it's it's definitely taking a nosedive here. Um, oh, geez. The amount of air in the back means that it's just going to continue to go up this way. It's opposite. It's opposite day because you guys see me backwards mirrored. It's crazy, isn't it? This is my... Oh, no, it's not. Wait. It's not really mirrored. It's unmirrored. It, it just looks weird to me, okay? It looks weird to me. Okay, uh, the nose of the ship is now, it's almost vertical. This is, this is almost a vertical ship now. And it's actually holding really well. The smokestacks are holding. The, uh, each room of the ship is holding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some of the air. I'm going to uh, cut a hole. I'm going to cut a hole in the ship so that you can see that this actually does act like a container. Look at that. All of that air is going to come rushing out, and we'll see if there's any consequences to this. Wow, that was holding a lot of, of air particles. Uh, I think it may actually be top-heavy, so we may be reaching a point of no return now where it's going to flip, and I think when it flips, it's going to tear the belly. I think it's going to be too much force. We'll see. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, after losing all of that air, which is all the way up here by now, it is definitely falling now pretty dramatically. And yeah, look at that bend. There's got to be a lot of force, a lot of stress on this. Look at the look at the bow bending, almost touching the sea floor. Which, if it touches the sea floor, it's gonna be like bending a paperclip. But I don't know if it's gonna go down any further. Everyone's still alive at this point. The Titanic is just fl well. I mean, if flipping over may have caused some people to hit their head. I'm gonna be honest. Might not be the safest. Uh, but overall, overall, it's uh, it's Titanicking. This is basically what would happen if I was the captain. Ooh, the water's coming on over it. It's going to keep pushing it down. Really? It is just doing a 360. It's just doing a 360. This is so anticlimactic. Oh, yeah, I guess I guess I won't break if I do that. Um, so let's do something a little bit more realistic. I'm going to... I'm going to remove some of the air in here. So that it stops floating away. Or at least that's the idea. And then we'll see if we can actually get it balanced as a ship should be. So that I can just cut a hole in one of the uh, one of the rooms of the ship. So that we can see what will happen. It's still, it's still tilting. 
Uh, I wonder if I can use the rotate tool a tiny... Oh, maybe not that much. Maybe not that much. Maybe not that much. I've created a massive wave. If I can just push that water away by... Oh! Oh! That wasn't really a wave, was it? I just created a massive wave that's smacking into the front of the ship now. Well, I guess that's one way to sink it. I just got so much water on top of it. Uh, it's really more of a submarine now. But I guess what I can do is I can add a little bit of air to try to balance this. It's not the end of the world. Not yet, at least. It's, it's partially sinking, but it's not sinking sinking. I like, I like all the water that's just kind of accumulated up top. Very nice. Very realistic. Oh, technically these, these ropes can actually be shifted. Another use of the shift tool. I don't want to shift the water, but if I shift these ropes back, um... The water will just pass through it, but it'll still actually be holding it together. God, the shift tool is so, just so cool. It's such a great addition to the game. There's so much you can do with it building-wise. Here we go. Try not to shift any of the water because then it won't be able to pass through. But if I do this, then technically the water should just... Yeah, the water just goes through... It's no longer a wall. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that absolutely fantastic? And look, the ship is actually kind of working. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to poke a hole in it. I'm gonna poke a hole in the ship because I wanna see it flood. We're gonna say the propeller exploded. All right, propeller is not propelling anymore. It freaking exploded, which caused a hole which breached in to this room and now what you're gonna see is that the air is escaping and the water should be making its way in should but as all of this air leaks it should be losing its ability to be buoyant i think i can actually kind of see it happening right now it looks like the force at which it's tilting forward is slowing down and it's gonna start falling any second now it would be nice if we got true buoyancy true buoyancy would make this much easier <laughs> here we go oh it's coming down now and now the water is gonna start pouring in and that water is heavy and the heavy water is going to cause it to sink even faster so losing the air is only 50 percent of the equation Here it goes, the water's pouring in. Oh, look at all of the water going in. It's about up to here. It's up to here. The room is filling incredibly quickly. And now the entire room is pretty much filled with water. It's hard to see again. Hopefully there's a way to make it a little bit easier to see in the future. But that is a lot of water weight now back there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate the wall breaking by shifting forward and i'm gonna let another section flood there we go all right now water is pouring into this second section now which is going to create even more weight the front of the ship is still buoyant so it's going up into the air while the back continues to tilt back now that difference in uh that difference between the buoyancy in the front and the weight in the back is going to cause the ship to tilt and as more and more water pours onto the top of the ship, it's going to get very dramatic. There's also a lot of water up here, which is going to be creating quite a bit of pressure. This smokestack has a lot of weight on it. I don't know if this tiny little rope will hold. Like, a lot of weight on it. It's very taut. Oh, it's holding! It, wow. Well-constructed ship. Buy your Spike Viper created ship today. Ships are us. We ship near you. 
Well, this is actually a super strong ship. I'm actually very impressed. So let's go ahead and hit it with something. Let's hit it with a tsunami. <laughs> tsunami! Like, like a real tsunami. Here we go. Here we go. I mean, it's on its side and it's getting hit by a tsunami. I, I know it's going to have trouble surviving this. Look at the force of the water. Look how quickly it's moving. It's going to impact and it is going to be rough. All right. Three, two, one. Oh! All of that kinetic energy is being translated directly into the metal. And it's actually, it's holding up pretty well. I expected it to hit a little bit harder, honestly. I mean, there's definitely some movement. Part of the issue may be that the simulation, I think, has a maximum velocity set on it right now. Let me check that. Cosmos, max velocity is 300. Yeah, let's turn that up a bit. Whoa, what the actual heck? Okay, that was a mistake. I mean, it did rip the ship apart. Wow, okay. Um, don't, don't do that. Don't do that when you're meshing with a lot of water. A lot of water, don't do that. Oh okay, yeah, let's try a real wave this time. Uh, first, I'm going to delete some of the air in here so it doesn't float away. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the uh, the motion. I'm just going to very quickly pause it. There we go. No motion. And I'm actually going to very carefully try to rotate it back in the right direction a tiny bit. All right, that's pretty good. All right, wave time, wave time, wave time, wave time, wave time, wave time, wave time. This is a literal tsunami now. Not a, not a rhetorical or metaphorical tsunami. It is a very large, very fast moving, very powerful tsunami that's slamming into it with a lot of force. Oh, 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 okay. I, I, I think we, I think we can turn up the max of velocity a tiny bit further. Let's just add one zero. There we go. There we go. Wow, the water gets really uppity when you do that. Why? Why does the water freak out so much? I only added one zero. I only added one zero. Dang. Some very angry water. It does appear that the ship has survived though. The the ship is just very strong, what can I say? It'll take a lot of oh well, I mean the smokestacks have torn apart a little bit. Uh, it's kind of like very stormy equivalent here. The water just going absolutely insane. Look at it all. We. I actually like this. This is great. This is really testing the strength of the ship. The water just flying all over the place, smacking into the ship. You can see the deformation when those waves of energy hit. Look at how the metal bends, but rarely does it break. It looks like the propeller broke, but uh. The rest of this is actually doing pretty well. It would appear that there are little pieces of metal everywhere, which I think are being sheared off of the sides. I think single pixels are being ripped off, but it's holding up, holding up pretty darn well. It's really good at being a uh, submarine, even though that wasn't its purpose. Absolutely incredible. It's holding up, guys, it's holding up. I don't know if it can hold up for much longer. The water is just continually getting more and more energetic.
some of the vibrations in the water are so strong. See what happens. See what happens. I, I don't I don't see any serious tearing yet. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. It's getting really strong. Oh man. Oh oh it's not gonna make it much longer. It's the Kraken. This is literally the Kraken from KSP. The physics are absolutely just borked right now, but it's pretty awesome to watch. The water is so angry. Oh, and it's hitting the bottom. It's scraping across the bottom. I think the pinned stone may actually be what's freaking out the water, but I'm not sure. What I do know is that this hitting the bottom is an issue because it's creating a lot more stress. It's bending, bending, bending the ship. And this spot right here is under immense amounts of stress. Almost like me at my 9 to 5. Oh, is its own propeller going to hit it and damage it? That would be the betrayal of a century. All right, I'm gonna create a little bit more energy that's gonna smack into this because I wanna see something happen. Whoosh. Okay, come on, something's gotta give now. Something's gotta give. No, it may actually be unsinkable. The Titanic is unsinkable. Who could have thought? Who could have thought? Even with just insane amounts of pressure, I guess I should have made the uh, steel walls a little bit thinner because holy moly, are they able to hold up to a lot? What would it take to destroy this at this point? <sighs> All right, I'm going to create a, a huge tsunami on this end. I mean, that's got to do it. Come on. Come on. Oh! Oh, it's phasing through and filling it with water. Oh, wow. It didn't rip the metal. It just went straight through the bonds of the metal. Look at the amount of bending. 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 Oh, it's like a banana. Surely. Oh, no, here it is. Here it is. It's actually crunched. The metal's broken. It required a massive hyper-energetic tsunami. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, yeah. Now it's ripping apart. But that, that went really well, actually. Like, I, I'm very impressed. I mean, sure, I can tear it apart by doing this. Wee. But, like, the ship held together much better than I ever anticipated. Um, whoa! Look at the designs from the water going crazy. Now that, that is cool. All right. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Obviously, this wasn't the most realistic Titanic, so I'm going to try to get the physics a little bit more accurate. But I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Join Valor! Valor.gg!